to create a new page for your website, what you're going to do is hover your mouse over the pages heading in the left hand sidebar and you can click on, you can either um, choose add new from the flyout menu or you can click pages. And here you're going to see a listing of all your pages and you can click on add new here. Alright, this screen is going to allow you to add a new page to your website. Um, there's lots of options on this page which we're going to cover in some other videos. However, the, the most important elements are the title, the editor, and the publish module. The first field that you want to fill in is the page title. Now at this point you can either hit the tab key or you can click into this box here for the editor. And you can see that um, the URL gets created for you automatically. Now most times you can just keep it the same. Uh, if you ever do need to change that URL you can click on edit and change the uh, URL here. But it's always a good idea to use this kind of format where you keep keep it key, uh, keyword rich and separate it by hyphens, separate each word by hyphens or dashes. Alright next um, what you're going to do is click on the visual tab here and if you don't see all your icons in here you can click on this uh, kitchen sink icon show hide kitchen sink and it gives you the extra row of icons. We're going to talk about more about page formatting uh, later but for now you can copy and paste your content in here or just type out your content. Um, if you're copying and pasting content it's a good idea to click on the T icon here for the clipboard where you can paste it as plain text. So you can paste your text into here and click insert. Uh, that's going to clean up your text. Um, some of the features here, so if you want to click on preview, you can preview your page before publishing it. Um, you can um, change the status here to uh, draft or, or pending. If you keep it in draft mode, it means you're going to save your page, but it's not going to be on the live site. Normally, you don't really have to touch this too much. Um, visibility, you can password protect it if you want to add a password to it. And publish, um, let's just say that you want to schedule it for um, to be released in February, uh, February 8th. You can have this time released so that when you click schedule it's going to save your page but it's not actually going to publish it until February 8th. Um, if you want to trash the page you can click on move to trash and uh, if you go to screen options here you're going to see um, some of the available um, modules that show up on the screen so as I scroll down here you'll see these different modules here this particular theme has a module called page option um, this is a K2 theme that we're using and um, so those are, are some available modules um, if this is a ch if this is a page that goes that belongs to a parent page, you can choose that. Um, so, for example, if I want this one to show up under Gary's travel page, I can use that uh, as the parent page, uh, so that this page would be a sub page of Gary's travel page. Um, and then click publish, and it will uh, publish it to the live site. 